Hi everyone, James here. Back with another look inside the box review. This is the 172nd scale FX Gloucester Javelin FAW 9 slash 9 and uh, it's still shrink wrapped. On the front is a, a picture of the Javelin. On the side there is the uh, width and length of the of the kit, paint suggestion, colours there by Humbrol. Uh, both sides again is the illustration of it, and just a brief bit of history on the other side. Open the box. So inside the box, you get four sprue sheets. The Instruction sheet, uh, decal sheet, clear parts, and the instruction sheet. I'm starting off with sprue one. The the plastic has the marbling effect on it. The the panel lines that are raised. There are some recessed ones. So when you come round to sanding you have to be careful you don't destroy the panel lines on some parts <coughs> the cockpit tub it's the pilot and co-pilot seats uh, landing gear oleos and the nose wheel on spree one spree two it's the lower uh, fuselage half, uh, gear doors and the wheels are in two halves so we'll be buying some uh, aftermarket resin as uh, they look horrible to me. I think they are exhaust parts I believe they're. And spree free is the tail fin and the control surfaces. Again, the the panel lines are raised with the the control surfaces have the uh, the uh, recessed lines. And the last sprue <coughs> has the ordnance, the exhaust nozzles, and they look to be like external fuel tanks. I have uh, already purchased the Gloucester Javelin exhaust correction. As I looked on uh, Brit Muller forums, and then everyone on there suggested to get the aftermarket as the the kit itself is slightly incorrect, but it's the best one to get if you want a glossy javelin. <coughs> the next is a clear parts. Something unusual for FX has a often you know, don't bag their clear parts, they just throw it all in one uh, bag <coughs> I will keep them in the bag as I don't want to scratch them from looking inside they do look uh, very clear and crisp 
That's a clear part. And moving on to the, the decals. They do, do look to be in good register. The colours are crisp. They are nice and thin. That's the decals. And lastly, moving on to the instructions. And typically, on the front, there is uh, a brief history of the aircraft and some technical data in uh, multiple languages, also. And as usual, steps one you start off building the the cockpit interior two and three are attaching the oleos to the wheels and adding the landing gear doors four is building the the rear fin steps five is adding the the exhaust nozzles. I, I believe they're in air intakes to add in the cockpit and then sealing the top and bottom fuselage halves together. Just suggest down here to add 10 grams of weight as it could be a tail sitter. Over the page there's only uh, seven build steps to this, so it's fairly quick. Uh, step six is adding the oleos, adding the possibly uh, external fuel tanks and the gear doors. And the final seventh step is adding the wings and canopy, uh, various airspeed indicators and the ordnance and it does come in two schemes, it's the, uh, the Royal Air Force in the UK 1963 or you can do another Royal Air Force in Singapore 1966 that's option two. It also has suggested paint colours down here also. And that's back to option one. So that's the 172nd scale Airfix Gloucester Javelin FAW 9 slash 9R.